Well, many areas outside of the GTA are going to phase three, and as businesses start to reopen, you may find yourself out there and you may use to, need to use the public bathroom. So what do you do? How do you keep yourself safe? Here to tell us is epidemiologist, there we go, and manager of infection prevention and control at South Lake Regional Center, and that is Bridget Barreto. Hi. Hey, good morning good to you. Good morning. We were just talking. You know, we both frequent this area in King City as well. Yes. Uh, some great restaurants behind us. Paper Crane, we have Locale. Yourself and myself, we may attend and we may need to go to the bathroom. Exactly. Tell me about a public bathroom when it comes to infection. So public bathrooms can be heavily contaminated places to begin with at the very best of times. Um, good thing is about COVID right now is that everybody's got a heightened awareness and they're cleaning um, a little bit more than they would normally. So the areas can be um, dirty and then they'll have a good turnaround of people coming in to clean. So the one thing that a lot of people ask about is the toilet plume. So these are those clouds of droplets that occur when you flush the toilet. Yeah. So people get worried about those. And I'd say, you know, the best thing to do uh, is close the lid prior to flushing and you can do the flush and dash, which means you're going to flush and you're going to back up and take off so that these little droplets aren't um, going onto your clothing, etc. Now, research out there is not conclusive about whether or not these can spread disease, these droplets, but they can be contaminated and you really don't want them on you. COVID, um, we know there are many in the bathrooms itself, many touch points, I would call it. So you walk in, you're using a handle. I'm washing my hands, I'm using the taps. I flush the toilet. I mean, there's so many areas where there's yes. so much interaction, I would say. Yeah. How do I navigate my way through that area? Yeah, so to navigate, I mean, if you're going into a bathroom, especially the bigger bathrooms, you want to go in, and if you're seeing that there's too many people in there, you know, maybe go back at another time. Keep yourself uh, spatially separated from others, especially during this time. You're going to want to wear your mask. That's going to protect you as well. It's going to keep those droplets from going into your mouth, into your nose. And the one thing I want to emphasize on is the hand hygiene. It is so important. Cleaning your hands um, after, you know, before you eat, after you use the washroom and clean them really well. Uh, the two ways that you can do that are hand sanitizer, so that's the alcohol-based hand rubs, and you're going to want to use that frequently. And then you're going to want to use soap and water um, after you use uh, the washroom, and you're going to want to lather for at least 15 seconds. That's the thing. It's been a long time since we've gone through that with proper hand washing on the show. It's not the quick wash. No. You want to make sure you're getting the top of the hand, yes. the bottom of the hand, in between the hands and they're you know, almost singing a song at the same time. They're singing a song. If you can sing happy birthday and not the quick happy birthday that you would wish that people would hurry up and sing to you when it's your birthday because you're so embarrassed that they're singing happy birthday to you, you want to take your time and sing happy birthday for 15 seconds and really, like you said, get in those little nooks and crannies of your hands. A public bathroom, if you could avoid it, is that the best thing? If you can hold? If you can, but I mean, we're human. Okay. Um, I think your sanitizer just fell right here. <laughs> You can see that you're very, there you go. See that, Sorry. you know, I use my hand sanitizer yeah. and I might as well show you how to do that. So you're gonna to want to put some in your hands yeah. and then you're gonna to want to rub and you're gonna to want to get into your palms, get your thumb going, get into your fingers. So that's what you're gonna to want to do. Amazing. Yeah. So once again, should I hold off if I'm going to the bathroom? I mean, we're human. If you have to go, go to the bathroom. Don't panic, you know, go in, clean your hands, Avoid putting your personal items on surfaces in the bathroom. Maybe leave those back at your seat or with somebody else waiting outside for you. And if you clean your hands frequently and properly, and if it's got the turn faucets, you know, where you have to use your hands, maybe turn them off with a piece of paper towel. That way you're not recontaminating your hands. If they don't have paper towel and it's the blow dryers, that's fine. Afterwards, you can just um, sanitize your hands. Well, thank you very much. And if people want more information, how can they get a hold of you? I can be reached at at 3 inch Shields on Instagram, and you can also contact South Lake Regional Health Center. I'm thank there you. as well. Thank Health and happiness to you and your family, of course. A lot of car driving downtown. King City this morning. We're going to take a break from breakfast. Health and still lots more to come. We're here waiting in phase three right now. we got more to come on the show, though. Big cars in this downtown.